In this video, you are going to learn one of the most important things that you can do on the court. If you wanna be a high level player, you can't get away without it. Now, let's jump right in. In this video, we're going to be talking about the split step. Let me tell you something really important. Every high level player does a good job through that transition zone because of their footwork and because of their balance and positioning. So if you want to be able to come up to the non-volley zone line effectively and you don't have good footwork or a good split step, it's going to be very, very hard for you to do that on a consistent basis. All right, so what is the split step? In a simple form, the split step is a movement that we can use a footwork movement so that we can be prepared to hit each and every ball so that we're balanced and stable. When it comes to hitting quality shots, balance and stability are the two most important things. So we have these cones out here and if you've never done a split step before or you d don't know how to do it, uh, we're going to show you how to do it really simply here. So I'm gonna start here at the baseline and again, we are going to be hitting either our drive or third shot drop and we wanna be in a balanced wide base. So I'm not gonna do this with a paddle right now. I'm going to hit the ball or pretend like I'm hitting it. And then I'm just going to stop just like this. So from that camera there, you can see my stance is definitely wider than my shoulder width and I'm well balanced. So you'll also see that I'm not leaning over like this in this camera and my weight is not on my heels, okay? So I'm actually gonna come up here I'm well balanced and notice I see a lot of players, you know, stopping kind of like this. They have one foot in front of the other or something like that. We got to make sure that both feet are parallel to that non volley zone line. Then I'm going to come up here again, take a couple steps and do the same thing. And then again, okay? So this may seem very, very simple, but if you don't know how to split step, this is one of the most important exercises we can go through. All right, so we'll see Kaden do it. Go ahead and just act like he's hitting the ball. He's gonna come up and split, good. Two steps, good, there we go. Okay, really good. So we just put these cones out just so that we have some indicators of where to split and when to split. And actually this is super important as well as that ready position. So Caden's gonna come through with it and he's gonna come through and split step here. Okay, good, good. Now he has his paddle out in front of him. And one thing that I would adjust here, Caden, we're gonna go through this one more time. Uh, when we're in transition, okay, the deeper we are, so like this cone here, or th this location here, we're gonna have to drop our paddle, most likely lower, okay? And th that one he did, and he was just showing you the footwork, but Caden, something I want to tell the viewers here is the deeper you are, you have your feet more exposed so maybe even a wider split step the deeper you are and then maybe the paddle in a lower position um, and then as you work your way through the two other cones you know the wide position is still nice but obviously you know when you get up here maybe you don't need your paddle all the way down but we have it around waist level so let's let's go through it one more time Caden so especially they can attack your feet good there we go and there we go okay so you can go through this multiple times, but the key is a wide base. You're well balanced and not leaning forward or backward. And you're on, you know, you have those weight on your balls of your feet. All right, so I have a basket here to my side. Um, and Caden is going to do this without the paddle again, but he's going to basically, I'm gonna throw it to him. He's gonna send it over. It doesn't matter if it hits the net or whatever. Then he's gonna split step and I'm gonna hit, throw another ball to him. So it's gonna look like this. Okay, good. 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 Okay, good. So really, really good. So let's go back. Caden's gonna do that one more time. And again, this is super important because he's making sure he's well balanced, right? Remember, balance and stability is key when we're coming up through the transition. Here we go. There we go. Good. Good, look at that. Okay, good. So he's never ever off balance and you can see he's in that wide base. Hi, if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you're interested in exclusive on-court training with me, go ahead and go to briannispickleball.com. Now, 
let's get right back to the video. Now he's gonna grab his paddle. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna let the balls go. I'm not worried. We're not really worried about where the ball's going right now. We're just practicing our split step. Here we go. Okay, good. Good. Nice. Okay, oh, really, really oh, good. Oh, what? <laughs> that was a tough one there. Okay, here we go. Do it again, do it again, do it here again. Here we go. Again. Good. Nice. Okay, good. Okay, really, really good. So notice every single time that Caden is hitting that ball, he's well balanced. Okay, last one here. I'm going to throw these in the air to you. Okay. Okay, okay good drop there. Nice. Good. Good. All right, so next progression here is we're gonna use one ball. I'm gonna feed it kind of like my return, right? He's gonna hit his drops. And even though Caden might be able to make it closer, right? We have these checkpoints here for a reason. We're just practicing and ensuring that he stops at these checkpoints just to practice that split step and to be balanced able, okay? So Caden, even yep. if you can make it through, we're gonna stop in each one. Yep, okay. Sounds good, so here we go, ready? Okay, good. Really, really nice. So you can see Caden's well balanced every single shot. Okay. okay. So now what we're gonna do, Caden, we're actually gonna take the cones off. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about when to split step. So in that scenario, what Caden did is he was stopping ev on every checkpoint every single time. Now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna feed him that ball. He's going to hit that ball. And then right when I'm about to hit the ball, okay, maybe if it bounces on the non-volley zone here, um, right around there, or maybe right as I'm hitting it, I want him to be in that split step, okay? So it's gonna, the time is gonna vary depending on how fast he hits the ball or slow he hits the ball, but it's going to be around the time that I'm hitting the ball. One of the things that I see most of the time is players' split steps are usually late. So I rather you split step a lot earlier than you're used to. Kaden, when do you when do you decide when to split? Uh, I personally I decide to split when I see my opponent starting to make their swing towards the ball. Um, I like to give myself a little bit more preparation and recovery uh, to get myself set, balanced, and stable for the for the ball that I'm about to hit. If I'm moving while you're hitting the ball, I guarantee you guys are not going to be set up in time to make your shot. So if you guys find that your body is unbalanced or unstable, then you guys need to make sure maybe just set up a little bit earlier to give yourself the time. Okay, so now we're gonna run through this uh, transition drill here. I'm gonna feed him a ball at the baseline. He's gonna hit his drop. Okay, then he's gonna come in and you're gonna see his nice and wide split step. Okay, here we go. Good. Okay. So you can see in that scenario, it took him two shots to get in, two split steps. Every scenario will look different, right? But we'll do it a couple more times so you can see. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Here we go again. Last one here. Gonna make this one a little tough on him. Good. Really nice, really, really nice. Okay, so again, preparation is key, okay? Learning how to go into that split step and prepare early and then, you know, doing the split step, making sure you're in that wide, wide stance and you're low, that balance and the stability, super important. Any last thoughts to hit? Yeah, good little test to really make sure you guys are in a balanced position is once you guys get into that split step, Feel free to have a friend just give you a little push on the chest. Find out what happens. Uh, personally, most people who think they're wide and balanced usually aren't wide enough. So just make sure you guys are getting wide so you guys can get lower the ball. And of course, you guys want that balance, which is super important. Yeah, thanks again, Caden. And again, you will not see any of the really good players, any of the top pros just strolling their way in. Again, the split step is used no matter if it's women's or men's super important and again balance and stability is the most important thing thanks so much for watching this video go out there with a partner do what we did practice those split steps and we'll see you in the next video